Hey everyone, it's Jeff and Manny, and we're going to go over the uh, PondMax pressurized filters. Okay, so here's the uh, 2400 PondMax pressure filter. Uh, this one's clear just for our display to show you how it works. Uh, the ones that you would install in your pond would be a black, black casing, uh, but this one kind of shows you what's in it and how it kind of moves. So this one, uh, it has bio balls at the bottom. Point to them, Manny. You got the bio balls at the bottom and then you got the filter pads and then you also have a UV light at the top. This is the 18 watt. Yeah, this is the 18 watt UV light. Okay. And what's nice about this one, okay, so you're going to have a submersible pump uh, running it most, most likely and you're going to have water going into the filter. As you can kind of see here, it shows you in. It's going to filter down through all your filter pads, bio balls, up through UV light and then it's going to discharge. It's got a little symbol of fish back to your pond. Okay, um, This is either tubing fit or it comes with um, PVC uh, fittings. So if you want to use tubing, that's great. Hose clamp the fitting on. It'll hold anywhere from three quarter inch, one inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half tubing. Or you can go with PVC up to inch and a half PVC and glue right into it. And these come apart too. So. Yeah, those are just unions that just unthread, really simple. Uh, I like that. Um, the way you clean this one, mo most people want to know, is it uh, has a backwash uh, system. Uh, it has a ball valve here. You can keep closed when you're not backwashing. Otherwise, you want to open that up. And it's got a uh, valve on top. And what you do is you turn it. This indicator will pop up when it's dirty. So if that, if you see that little orange button pop up to the top, filter's very dirty. So you're gonna turn that valve, when it's on filter, you're gonna turn it to backwash. And what's special about this filter is when you have water coming out, it's coming out like chocolate milk, do the crank for me, you uh, backwash it with the crank. So what it does is, is it spins the pads, squeezes the pads, and it helps get all the dirt out of the filter and it'll spit out of your backwash line. It's great fertilizer if you want to use it for fertilizing any plants, things like that. And uh, it also has a little indicator at the top for your UV light, so that will glow blue when uh, you plug it in. So if you're using the UV light, it comes with a plug, and you're gonna plug that in. Um, if you don't have an outlet near it, you don't have to plug in the UV light and the filter will still work for you. And then obviously you push the, put the filter back to um, filter, and then you're good to go. Real quick, I want to show you how it opens. Uh, simple. Unlatches. Yep. And unlatch it, and there you go. So it all comes out in one. It's got all the uh, the pads there. Okay. And then also the bio media or the bio balls, really clever design. Very easy. It all comes out together. Okay. And it has this nice big O ring at the top. So, you know, once or twice a year, you probably want to open the filter up and clean the bio balls and uh, maybe spray off the filter pads. Um, and about every, I'd say, you want to change the light bulb once a year on them and um, the pads I generally last more maybe a couple two or three years and we do have replacement pads for them if yours are worn out yeah we have a uh, replacement pads replacement bulbs everything and then put, let's put it back together for them so. bio balls first Kind of snug it down a little bit first, and then you've got a little latch here. You can just connect it and snap. There you go. All right, pretty simple, guys. I uh, hope you like it. Hope this helps. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you when you come in. Bye-bye.